How are you doing today, baby? We have an update on the Amy Robots and TJ Holmes scandal. The scandal that set the minivan majority alive. Y'all, this has the makings of a movie. The cheating, the lying, the conniving, the narcissism, the 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 the, the, the audacity, the sheer unmitigated gall the nerve y'all let's get into this because guess what they want you to know that they're not ashamed of their romance but guess what it's not over because the wife was blindsided let's also not forget that she's married to who is it andrew shoe y'all remember andrew shoe at least you should you know that he had literally just um gotten all the domain names because he was planning on doing a podcast with him and amy and now that's all scrapped baby let's get into this because they were caught cheating on their spouses there was a private investigator hired the private investigator caught them laughing giggling hands all over their butts but i think the worst part the most disrespectful part is the fact that all their fans on the internet were saying well guess what like you know they're a cute couple imagine your husband leaving you or your wife leaving you for somebody they look cuter with and i said y'all ain't see in heaven because no they don't look cute together they're giving i don't know i don't know they're just giving some type of vibes but let's get into how they're not ashamed y'all ready for this New Good Morning America 3 anchor couple TJ Holmes and Amy, and Amy Robosh arrived to work on Thursday feeling no shame about their relationship scandal that shocked the media industry a day before. Sources close to the couple described their first day back as wonderful and told us they felt supported and loved by their ABC colleagues who even said a prayer with them. Yo, listen, y'all was on the internet saying at the Sierra Pier, I'm on a Porsche prayer. It looks like Amy said a Porsche prayer. Um, they said they're not ashamed. They're two consenting adults who ended up loving each other. You know, that is my that is my pet peeve with cheaters. And I'm not sitting here judging what people do in their house, but it's not that simple that you met your soul, soulmate and you fell in love. That's If it was that simple, nobody would care. You meet your soulmate, you leave your spouse, you fall. Mm, that's not what happened. You guys lied. You guys connived. You guys vacationed together with your spouses. You guys ate dinner together with your little couple friends. You guys lied, cheated, humiliated, conned your significant others. And now you want to say, we're just two people that ended up loving together. No, you guys aren't. And honestly, the streets are saying that she has a problem with cheating. And you know what's so funny? That Mr. TJ Holmes had the nerve to sit around, right? had the nerve to sit around and say that Will Smith was an embarrassment and embarrassed all the black camera people at the Oscars for the slap baby. You turned into a black male stereotype, but you know what? It's none of my business. It's none of my business, you know? Was good for the goose because he did look like the person literally dragging somebody, a black person in front of America to be publicly challenged. Get this. They hadn't seen each other since Tuesday. I'm sure they picked FaceTime and had some fun. This probably made it hotter for them. It's not how they wanted the news of the relationship to come out, but it's kind of a relief. Another source familiar with the couple told them they've been good friends for eight years and claims the romance before August, and claims the romance began in August as they both dealt with marital wo woes. Do you know what? Th this is a bad, bad year for same-sex, I mean, um, co-ed friendships, right? Because let's be real. Blair Underwood left his wife how many years for his best friend? This guy, you saying that you guys were the best of friends, being all flirty, but nothing happened till August? Shut up. You don't want nothing to happen to that divorce decree. Multiple sources told us Holmes and his wife, Marilee Feibig, have had marital problems throughout the years, including rumors of his infidelity. They hit a rough patch last year, which caused Holmes to move out temporarily. We're told they eventually reconcile, but it was short-lived and he moved out for good about four months ago. That's in August. So you were seeing this girl the whole time is what it sounds like to me. Tell me if I'm wrong. They said the only person he could lean on was Amy when he was having trouble with his marriage. You were having trouble with your marriage because of Amy. Um, Amy was the first person he reached out to. No one knew he was getting divorced until yesterday. <laughs> 
not even his wife. This guy is a piece of work. They're saying Amy and Andrew had had a few bumps and it always felt like they were exploring avenues. Insiders told us Robach's marriage officially came to an end about six months ago, while fourth, fourth person claimed she was very upset about it. They were really close and tried to make it work. She was very sad about the marriage ending. It didn't seem like it was over cheating. Now they're saying that nobody was blindsided in the relationship, right? But get this, the wife, TJ's wife has something to say, baby. She said that she was actually blindsided by this. And when I say blindsided, I mean blindsided. Do you know that he actually wrote, where's this thing? He actually wrote this whole message to her on their anniversary. He said, this particular hashtag decade challenge is a little late, but 10 years ago, Marley Feibig married me. And despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. That's not hyperbole. I'm not being dramatic. I gave her plenty of reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine butt out the door. But instead, with her built-in black woman superpower, she showed a grace and patience that's incomprehensible. Asking for her for her for another 10 years would be asking too much. Another 10 months, that may be a stretch. If she gave me another 10 weeks, I consider myself lucky. If she puts up with me another 10 days, I'd be grateful. But if, but if she would even spare another 10 minutes of her, of her time with me today, I should consider myself blessed. This is Marilee Feibig Holmes, y'all. And I, TJ Holmes, do solemnly swear that I was her. You guys, first of all, Black woman superpower. I, again... She should have known by this thing. This was the most, this wasn't even passive aggressive. This was downright aggressive. And he wrote this for whatever, in my opinion, for whatever he had on the side. You basically said that this woman forced you to be with her. You tried to leave her a bunch of times. She was a Klingon and her black woman superpower. And then saying, and she gave me another 10 weeks, right? and she gave me another 10 minutes of her time, I should consider myself blessed, but not blessed. Y'all, this guy ain't ish. He's not ish, but listen to this. They're trying to put out the narrative that um, both spouses knew, but there's more. Because TJ Holmes' wife, Marilee Feibig, 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 was blindsided by the affair. TJ Holmes' wife was blindsided by his alleged affair with Amy Robach. The staffer tells us Holmes and his wife, Marilee, mm, shout out to Tristan Thompson, had been separated for six months, but were trying to work things out when news of his romance for robots broke Wednesday. Of course he was. I feel like he felt like he had to stay married for the image, but that's the thing, when people be posting those things online, talking about, yeah, you know, she ain't the cutest thing, but she's mine, or I'm gonna stick with him. Y'all need to believe what they're saying. They don't like you. You are the last slice of pizza, and it's been sitting in the box for three days. Find someone that loves you. They said she's devastated. She had no idea. They haven't been together in a while, but they were trying to work it out. They were just together for TJ's birthday, which was August 19th. A source notes that while Fibic hadn't been wearing her wedding ring, the now estranged couple were attempting to reconcile. Woo! Oh my God. Page Six reported that he moved out earlier this summer. They constantly had problems over the years and they finally broke up. He's so corny, ew. Yuck, I don't know watch Good Morning America. This is who you're watching. How does some guy that acts like this and, lo and sits like this be like sleeping his way through the cast of Melrose Place anyway? Wow. And that girl, Amy, she has, ooh. She, oh wait, Tim McIntosh. Is he part of the Apple McIntosh family? I don't know, right? Anyway. They all have kids. It's super sad. They were canoodling all over in bars in Midtown. How come not? Well, it is New York. You could kill somebody in New York and people would be like, and walk out the street and people wouldn't know that you just got out of it. It's easy to disappear in New York. But like they said, they're not ashamed. They're two consenting adults who ended up loving each other. Um, it's not how they wanted it, but this is the way it's going to be. And, all, and again, an ABC staffer later confirmed to page six that there will be no disciplinary action taken against the co-anchors. 
They all, all they care about is ratings. This is ratings gold. That's why ABC News President Kim Goodwin wanted them on the show today. Y'all, listen, money talks. Money talks. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think of this. I really do feel sorry for the spouses because the fact that their fan community wants them together, that's a final slap in the face. But baby, listen, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.